everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So this week's Sunday Surprise, I'm going to show you my swinging cards and how to put those together. Because I know there's lots of people who don't have Facebook and that's where I just done my recent launch on Friday and that's where I share a lot of things. So I always like to make sure that I have a video on YouTube as well. They're really fun cards. You get eight different characters. So I'll show you those in a moment. And these swing, but it's hard for you to see those swinging, obviously, because of the way that I'm filming. But you could just about make, you know, see the, the monkey there and um, this one here actually has got acetate and I'm going to do that today as well because I don't think I've shown any uh, tutorial of me actually putting the acetate onto it but they're, they're lovely cards six by six in size and you can have anything hanging in them as well you don't have to have the characters that I've got so let me show you how to make them okay so I've gone ahead and prepared most of the things that you need but I am going to do the main cutting so I've got myself here this is a six by six card blank if you don't have six by six then just get a piece of 12 by six and then score at six inches along the long side fold it in half and that'll give you your card blank but you can also use the store brought ones they come under just they're usually around about five and seven eighths of an inch squared you know you can use those your apertures will fit onto that fine so this is the swing card die set mechanism so I'm going to take the decorative aperture here and I'm going to open up the card and I want to die cut this about there you want it in the middle I mean you can have it any way you want you will have your mechanism piece hanging down there so you want to kind of keep that hidden I'm just thinking about my sentiments going to be down here I might have it kind of like that instead so I'm going to just pop a bit of tape to hold that in place and run that through my machine okay so just take that one out and you'll see now you get this really pretty detail so I'll just take out a couple of little bits there that were missed but it cuts really nicely it cuts through two layers really easily as well so that's that one then I have this pretty scene here and this is from the new paper pad so you get four of each and there's six designs and um, again I will link the launch video that I done on YouTube if any of you want to see that where I flick through the papers and I show you everything in more detail I'll link that one up here so this is going to go inside here and then that's what you'll see when you look through the card and you'll see the, the pretty patterns there. But you can see this version here that I've got where I've used it on the front and I've used the circles as the aperture and I've used the leafy embossing folder in the back. So, you know, there's so many um, different ways to, to make these cards up. And if you are on Facebook, I've got a album on my page, which is the swing cards. And you'll see all of my samples close up so you can get lots of inspiration. So I'm just going to stick this one down. Okay, I've then cut myself a piece of acetate. This is completely optional, but it is a nice little extra. This is just under the six by six, so five and seven eighths will be fine. Now you could turn this into a shaker card as well if you wanted to, because obviously you've got, you could just pop this there and then pop some foam around and then, you know, stick it against this um, pattern piece. So there's a lot of other ways there and I'll probably end up doing a shaker card at some point and then I'm just going to stick this onto the back here and just rub over your tape until it goes dark and that way all the air bubbles are out and it's stuck to your cardstock like so but now that's really strengthened the front of my card there as well then in the die set you'll get this one here and you just want to die cut one of them so you'll see how that looks and then you've got three lines you just want to fold it in half on the middle line like so and you'll see your holes will join up and then these two lines on either side you want to fold out I just put my nail there and then just fold it out but it will go right on that line like so and then you'll have this shape you then want to add glue to the to one of the sides there and then just close that up so you've got the wings like so. Now, because I've got acetate on this side, I'm going to put some red liner tape on one side and then just liquid glue on the other. If I didn't have the acetate there, I'd just put glue on both and stick it down. But the liquid glue will probably end up peeling off the acetate. Whereas if you use the tape, that will definitely stick. So I'm going to put liquid glue on this side. And I'm going to take my backing off of there. So the liquid glue I'm sticking in the middle of this one here and I want to make sure it's just below the fold of the card so you see it's just under the score line there and then I'm going to close this one 
You see the mechanism's just hidden behind there as well. But if it did pop down, don't worry, because by the time you add your decoration and all your flowers and stuff, it's, you can soon hide it. But now we've got this piece ready for us to hang our swinging mechanism. So you want to cut this long one here is for the base or the, the tent fold. So you can make this as just a nice tent fold card. You don't have to cut the aperture. You might just want to put decorative paper on there and then you can use this. So one of those. And then this one here is for the swing piece. And I'm going to cut this using some acetate. So I'm just going to pop it on the end there. This is a heavy weight. This is the Ducrafts construction weight um, acetate, but lighter acetate's fine. And if you don't have acetate, you can just die cut it with cardstock like so. And then you could layer up you know, something over the top there to disguise it. So there's other ways to do it if you don't have the acetate. So I'm just going to die cut that one. Okay, so you can see there it's cut right through. It's actually still in the die. There we go. And it's cut through the hole there as well. So I'm going to go back to this one and then I've got my brad here or split pin. These are the five mil ones. They fit perfectly through the hole. I'm going to pop the brad through there and then I'm going to pop this piece like so. And I just use, like to use my poker tool just to kind of start it off there. And then I pop my poker tool either side and then open the split pin. And it kind of rolls over the end of this. And by doing that, it just means you get a nice loose movement there. And you can see there that just moves really freely. Again, if I hold it up, you can see it moves really nicely. Then I want to stick down my character. So because I've got the acetate, I'm going to have to kind of do it like this. Now I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. So don't be afraid to cut this. You don't have to keep it the length that we've given you because, you know, all the characters are different sizes. So... You know, you will need to adjust it, but now I think that's better. I just want to have a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to run my tape along the bottom there, and then I'm just going to pop him down like so. And there we go. And it fills that space perfectly. So I'm happy with that. And then with this one here, you want to fold all of the score lines so they are mountain folds. So that one. And then these two here, these are the tabs that you'll attach to the card. Now, again, because I've got the acetate on one side, I'm going to put some red tape on one side and then liquid glue on the other. But otherwise, if, you, if you're just sticking it onto cardstock, then just stick with liquid glue on both. It's fine. And that's how I've you know, used it on all the other samples. So just remove the backing there and then I'll stick this onto here. So... I'm going to just line it up with the bottom of the card, like so. And then I'm just running some glue along the other half there. And then you just want to close the card completely shut. You'll see that's all concealed inside and it folds up like so. But now, again, it's hard for you to see, but you can just about make him out there swinging. He looks so cute. So next I'm going to start decorating. So I've already gone ahead and die cut lots of the leaves here. So I'll just show you. So you've got the leaves and you've got the flowers here. So I've just die cut a selection of them. I really like this one here, which is this. And you can just paper piece it. So I die cut it in green and then in red and then the yellow. And I just popped it back together again. So you've got that hibiscus style. And then these are just little clusters that I've had left from other samples that I have was going to make then changed my mind. And I've got the flowers here. These are some other ones which I'm going to layer up. And I've also got the gecko here. He's a stamp in the stamp set, the same as the, the monkey. So I'll just show you that one just here. So you can see the monkey you've got all the different sentiments there. You've got the little sign, which I've stamped for the back of the card. I'll talk about that more in a moment. But there's the gecko. And then the sentiment I've got, have a wild birthday, which is that one there.
I stuck everything down, you would have seen me just adding the googly eyes. Ideally, you want to do that before you attach it to everything because it was a little bit fiddly trying to do it under there. But they just, they're really fun. I love doing this. And then I've also got these here. These are Glitter Jewels by Cosmic Shimmer. And um, they're just really nice. They're completely flat. They're little holographic hexagons. And um, I just thought they looked nice. I used them on this one here. You just see the way they catch the light. They're just a really nice way to add an embellishment. So if you don't want to add any bulk to your cards, like using, you know, flat back pearls and stuff like that, these are lovely. So I'm just going to kind of keep them close to the, the flowers here. And then I'm just going to just stick to the glue there. Now you can see the lovely sparkle you get there. And then lastly, I'm just going to stick this piece. This is uh, five and three quarters squared. And it's going to go on the back there. So I've got somewhere to write my message. And there's the finished card. I think it's so cute. I love the way he just hangs like that. And you could put more of these inside the card. So they're popping kind of through. Let me just grab one of these here, just as an example. So you see, you can start to stick things in this part. So they're coming into your scene. You can have them down here, like so. So, you know, lots and lots of ways to decorate this. But that is how you make the swinging cards or the swinging tentfold cards. You can see the swingy slot. He's popping out the sides there. So he moves really, really freely. So I'll just bring back in the other one there. So just to show you other ways to decorate. You can see the flowers. I've used stamen detail there. You've got the snake. I need to put some uh, googly eyes on him, actually. And then there was the orangutan one there and then you've got the snake version there and those are all the ones with the aperture and then the others I've got here just with the circle so you've got the cheetah you've got the toucan there and you've also got the koala with the embossing folder in the background there so those are the cards. So thank you for watching. Um, like I said, if you want to see the samples or the collection in more detail, check out that uh, link that I already shared, which should take you to that video. Everything that I've used today will be shared, as always, in the description box below. There'll be some tutorials popping up now as well. So if you've enjoyed this one, and you want to go and watch something else, then maybe click on one of those. And if you've enjoyed my tutorial and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on my face that's just popping up now. And then if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.